Welcome back to our series on African history, where we delve into the rich tapestry of narratives often overlooked. Today, we're uncovering the lesser known stories from North Africa, Ethiopia, and South Africa. Let's embark on this enlightening journey together. In North Africa, the echoes of the Ottoman Empire resonate through archival documents and European accounts. Despite the decline in Arabic narrative sources, Morocco stands tall with its detailed histories, chronicling the Sharifian dynasties and offering insights into socio-economic landscapes. Algeria, Tunisia, and Tripoli boast anonymous histories, while Egypt's annals spotlight luminaries like Ibn Iyaz and Al-Jabarti, chronicling pivotal periods from Ottoman rule to Napoleon's occupation. European travelers, biased yet insightful, provide invaluable observations, enriching our understanding of North Africa. Venturing southward, Mauritania and the eastern Sudan beckon with biographies, genealogies, and local chronicles. The Funch Chronicle and Tabakot offer glimpses into Sudanese life, while foreign travelers like David Rubini and James Bruce document the region's evolving landscape. Ethiopia, a land of opposing narratives, presents the clash of perspectives during the Muslim invasion of the 16th century. Royal chronicles and monastic histories provide a window into its imperial reigns, while European archives shed light on pivotal events from the 19th century onwards. South Africa's narrative landscape is equally diverse. From Dutch accounts of the Cape region to missionary archives and African resistance movements, a mosaic of perspectives emerges. African voices, once marginalized, now assert their place in history, challenging colonial narratives and reclaiming their stories. As we explore external narrative sources, we witness the decline of Arabic works alongside the rise of European perspectives. From Leo Africanus travels to Azerbaijani and Armenian accounts. Diverse voices enrich our understanding of Africa's past. European narratives, shaped by evolving attitudes and motivations, offer a nuanced portrayal of African societies. From explorers' expeditions to missionaries' missions, each account contributes to our comprehension of Africa's complex tapestry. Yet, Amidst external narratives, internal voices emerge, offering authentic insights into African history. From the Sudanese chronicles of Timbuktu to local histories in Hausa and Dayula, African scholars reclaim their narratives, reshaping our understanding of the past. As we conclude our exploration, let's remember that Africa's history is as diverse as its people. By embracing a multiplicity of narratives, we can truly grasp the richness and complexity of the African continent.